Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about a communicable disease, chickenpox. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture. Or you can directly visit to my channel, my student support system. What is chickenpox? Chickenpox is a highly infectious viral disease caused by varicella zoster virus, and it is also known as varicella disease, which is characterized by special vesicle type rashes. What is the causative agent of chickenpox? Chickenpox is caused by varicella zoster virus. It is also known as human herpes. Virus type three. How it spreads? The source of infection usually is a case, or we can say patient of chickenpox. The virus is present in the droplets from mouth and nose, mucosal surface, and the skin lesions. The mode of transmission. is droplet infection and direct contact during sneezing coughing or even talking the virus goes with the droplets and the skin lesions the rashes which are crusted even then the virus can transmit by direct contact the patient is able to spread the infection One to two days before and four to five days after appearance of rashes. Incubation period. The incubation period for chickenpox is fourteen to sixteen days, but range may be seven to twenty-one days. Normally, it is fourteen to sixteen days. What are the signs and symptoms of chickenpox? How you will identify that? Yes, this is chickenpox. Based on the signs and symptoms, clinically chickenpox have two stages: pre-eruptive stage and eruptive stage. Pre-eruptive stage is characterized by fever, pain in the back, shivering, and pallidity. And this stage lasts for three days. Then eruptive stage starts. eruptive stage means appearance of rashes or eruption of rashes this stage is characterized by appearance of rashes and these rashes are symmetrical so this is a special feature of rashes of chickenpox and we can clearly uh, differentiate with the rashes of measles because they are asymmetrical these rashes are symmetrical keep in mind and starts appearing from trunk soon these rashes spread to face arms and leg the rashes changes rapidly from macules papule then vesicles and finally to scabbing or scabs the scabbing begins 4 to 7 days after appearance of rash a characteristic feature of rashes of the skin box is pleomorphism what is pleomorphism pleomorphism means all the stages of rashes may be seen at same time fever is also seen in this stage as well complications normally varicella or we can say chicken pox is a benign childhood disease but sometime complications may occur and when complications occur it may be very severe the virus varicella virus can induce pneumonia and encephalitis and sometime persistent sequel or even death secondary bacterial infection of the vesicles leave disfiguring scars or result in 
necrotizing fasciitis or septicemia and maternal varicella during pregnancy may cause abortions birth defects such as cutaneous scars atrophied limbs microcephaly low birth weight etc then diagnostic investigation normally no lab investigations are required because the special features of this uh, rashes they are clear cut indication of this uh, chicken pox but sometimes laboratory investigations can be done by detecting the virus using pcr method polymerase chain reaction method and isolate isolating the varicella zoster virus in cell culture from the vesicle vesicular fluid crusts saliva csf or other specimens treatment several antiviral compounds or drugs provide effective therapy for varicella including acyclovir velaciclovir famiciclovir and oscarnet even acyclovir can prevent the development of systemic disease and again main attention is given for the prevention of the spread of this infection and how we can control and prevent the best control measure for chickenpox is notification and isolation of the patient for about 6 days after the onset of rashes and disinfection of the articles soiled by the nose and throat discharges of the patient varicella zoster immunoglobulin is also available that can be given to the patient or the client or the candidate within 72 hour of exposure and this can prevent chicken pox and even to the immunosuppressed client we can uh, give this immunoglobulin and a live attenuated varicella virus vaccine is also available for prevention uh, as though it is not included in the routine immunization schedule of india in our country till date but vaccination can be given at any private child care centers or even uh, for adult also it is available so it can be used for the prevention dear students for watching such videos you can subscribe the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you can get notification you can like facebook page and for making your notes you should visit my blogger follow me on twitter instagram and join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day